Sagittarius, hello, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, so this is a time in your life where things are manifesting themselves into the physical form. And that means that really the only thing you have to do at this time is have a good time and enjoy what shows up for you. If things are showing up that you are not enjoying, it means that there is, there's a, a pivot happening, basically. There is an intention behind that contrast. So it's not about fixating on contrast. It is about recognizing that change is necessary. Now, we sometimes get really uh, caught up in this feeling of change and we tend to feel fear in uncertain times or when things are changing, we feel fear because then we don't know what's happening. And we just want you to know it's about whenever you feel um, con constriction or density, if you will, hard to breathe, feeling emotional, feeling almost like you're bound, um, it's generally because we are because we are uncomfortable, we tend to overthink the process, okay? We tend to overthink. And when we are thinking, what happens is we keep ourselves stagnant and then we feel stuck and then we feel bound. The thing is, is that if we are bound by anything, then we, 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 we have sort of energetic connections with other things too. So we feel bound to other things too. So that can kind of be the representation. If you ever feel like you are like you can't stop doing something, like it's just impossible. It means that there is a, again, a, uh, addiction or some, uh, an energy that is, um, uh, you're feeling like you can't let it go. Uh, there is, um, there's a need for you to, um, in general, just let go. And this is your affirmation for the day, beautiful soul. I play with the world. I play with the world. I play with the world. You play in this energy. So when, when we're taking an energy and fixated on it, how can I fix it? How can I make this better? What's it going to be? What's the outcome? We're not playing at all. We are constricting. We are resisting. We are regurgitating. And we are in this energy where we just keep circling the energy, right? We just keep ourselves in this yucky energy when we want to move forward. And so that will always be from overthinking whatever shows up. So whatever new opportunities show up, overthinking them and maybe placing too much energy in too many different honey pots with that two of pentacles. Sometimes this happens when new energy shows up, all of a sudden our mind goes wild because it's a new energy. And whenever something is new, we're very excited. And when we're excited, we are open. When we are open, we're receiving. And then we receive idea, thought, you know, this, that, and the next thing. And it can be a little bit um, confusing at times. It can be a little bit unfocused at times. And so that's where we, again, would just want to remind you that um, you want to always have an intention and you want to have your thoughts, excuse me, your actions align with your intention. And you want to feel inspired of the version of yourself that you show up as in each moment of your life. You want to be inspired by who you show up as at, at your work. You want to be inspired by the person you show up as for your family. You want to be inspired by the person you show up as when you are, um, when, when, when your wisdom and your mentorship is required, maybe by a family member who is suffering or somebody in your life that comes to you for advice, you want to feel inspired by that version you show up as. And what that really means is just taking that lead, beautiful soul, in the moments of life, in every moment of life, of course, um, but specifically pertaining to the moments that we share with just ourselves. That is going to, what's going to establish this relationship with yourself the most is having practices that you do that allow you to really tap into the version of yourself that you are inspired by, not sleeping in because no one's watching and you can, right? Making the bed because it's energetically the feeling of organizations, energetically the feeling of a task completed, 
right? And so when you have your live your life from this manner um, and not neglect things, keep your house clean, keep things organized, have food ready, don't eat out every day because it's easy and convenient. Do the thing that is more satisfying and might can take more, uh, uh, you know, organization practice, but the thing that's more satisfying, right? Because what that will do is it will leak over into other areas of your life. So we feel like you may feel bound to a job or to a person, but we definitely have the devil card here, which again is that feeling of, of, of not feeling free, right? You're, you're stuck basically. And there's that two of wands of wanting to move forward, but you're feeling stuck. So you're in this indecisive, this indecision kind of, and the elephant spirit is here paired with this. So learning from the past. So perhaps you've been here before, perhaps energetically, this feels familiar for you, right? And when that's the case, we are able to um, kind of look at it from a different perspective, like, oh, I've done this before, and I too overcame it and ended up here. So if I can overcome that, I can overcome this. As we get older, we have more tendency to become more attached to things because we become less active, we become less um, uh, action-oriented, we become more... Um, uh, we, we, we sit more, we have a tendency to just sit more. And as we age in our avatars, you know, our wis the wisdom of our soul is, is, is still young, right? And so we always, again, want to remember to stay active. Action always releases resistance. So even if the action you're taking um, is getting a glass of water or doing some, you know, quick, a quick movement snack, maybe getting a five minute yoga practice that you engrave in. So throughout the day, you can do a quick five minute yoga stretch or just a quick stretch. But anything that keeps us remembering to stay active and stay busy, it will allow us to detach from the energy of, from uh, the connection of attachment. And it feels like right now there's an attachment, there's an attachment and your ego is, is feeding it, right? So I can't possibly do this. I could never change my job. What would they do without me? What would this person do without me? I can never do this. Well, beautiful soul, that is a decision that is yours, but are you happy, right? Everything is about recognizing what you might be attached to and what might be limiting you from the version of yourself that you're inspired by. And that's always how you want to live your life is who am I inspired by? Who is that person? Who is the person that I wish I had growing up, right? The, and, and just even that emphasis on that will sometimes kick things into, in, into gear. Um, but either way, always remember that the power to create your life is your own. You have the ability to make your dreams real. And all it really requires of you now is to remember that you get to, you get to play, you get to create, you get to decide what happens. Sometimes we don't feel like we, sometimes we don't feel like that when we feel bound to things, right? Again, so, um, and uh, how we do anything is how we do everything. So sometimes when we're bound to, or we're, we practice a certain schedule um, or routine every day, and we're like, nope, nope, this is it. This is what I'm doing. This, I'm not changing it. Um, but yet it doesn't feel satisfying, which is something we've continuously done forever. Maybe it might be a time to switch that up, right? Because change always promotes growth. Um, and, um, and if we're not used to being very active or waking, if we're not, if for instance, like if you wake up and you're kind of in a low vibe, a little negative, you're like, oh, what's the point? Or, or, you know, maybe just feeling like you're, you're all up in your thoughts. Like you wake up and you're just, your thoughts do not stop because they don't, but, but you're just, it's, it's to the point now where it's almost, it's, it's taking from you then we would recommend waking up and having a practice that you fall into your body more, right? So that would be exercise, waking up and exercising, going for that run, uh, getting a home workout going, um, something that excites you. Um, remember, everything is energy. So it doesn't matter what you do. It matters how you feel while you're doing it. So I know for me, I like to gravitate working out with, sometimes I like to work out with myself or sometimes I like to work out by following a workout program, right? I really like P90X. I love Tony Horton. I love his energy. I think he's just amazing. And I like being in that energy. So that's why sometimes I work out with P90X. I don't really care how hard the workout is um, because my avatar can do anything as can your avatar. Um, it just really matters about what, who do you want to spend your time with and what do you want to spend your time around, right? And if energetically, you know, sometimes I don't have it. I don't have it for just being around me. You know what I mean? I'm like, I need some, I need, I need another energy here. You know, I need an energy boost. And that's when I'll, I'll, I'll choose a workout that, that may give me that, right? So everything, remember, is always about energy and always about the energy that you desire to feel. 
and to maintain um, feeling satisfied, happy, excited. If you're like, today's a big, busy day at work, maybe wake up and do a workout that gets you excited, gets you pumped up, because then you bring that energy to your workplace. You're like, yeah, I'm ready, right? But if you've got a big day and you're stressing about it, you're thinking it, you're fearing it, oh my gosh, I have this client, they come in and every time they come in, they complain, right? What am I gonna do, right? You're gonna be in this fear energy, you're gonna be a low vibe. And then when that client does come in, your vibe's not gonna be able to be able to handle whatever shows up, right? So you always wanna gauge, what, what do I got going on with my day? What's the intention for the day? Maybe it's a chill day, maybe like, you know what? It's a chill day today. I'm going to have a little bit of a, you know, a, a, a chill vibe myself, right? No need for me to, you know, whatever it may be. But always de decipher your life and the decisions you make from an energy and how the person you feel inspired by and the energy that you want to bring to the table. Universe's message, time for a love fest. Universe says, actually, everyone is reasonable. They just have their own reasons. And usually it's worth trying to learn what they are to maximize chances of a full-blown 60s style psychedelic love fest, which is always a good thing. The universe. We love you so much, beautiful soul. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.